Good morning, everybody. Uh, today's a uh, special shave video. Get to uh, break out a uh, soap I've been wanting to try for quite a while. Uh, you might have seen the pictures yesterday when I posted about it, but something that's been told to me has been probably the best, if not one of the best soaps out there. Finally decided to break down and buy it, and that's Martin de Candre. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Uh, and I got the Fougier scent. I just want to show you real quick before I get into the shave. This is how it comes packaged. It's a hard, hard box. I like that. It's the first soap that kind of comes in its own special, you know, container. You can see it doesn't really want to bend much. It's solid. To me, that shows, you know, it kind of says, hey, we're a little, we got a little class. Uh, not that the other soap makers don't, but they're kind of saying, hey, this is a premium product. You're paying a premium price. And inside does have some, uh, some instructions on how they suggest you use the soap. And then here's the container. Heavy, heavy, solid glass container. Loaded to the brim, as you can see. I've been sniffing this thing. I got it yesterday in the mail. As I was leaving for work, I sniffed it all the way to work. I sniffed it at work. I snuck outside to take a sniff of it. It's very, uh, very fresh. Um, it's not, uh, I care if it was uh, the shaving ginger that said it, but uh, I was watching a couple of videos last night. The way they described it is, it didn't sound artificial or smell artificial, and that's how I would describe it. It just seems very, very natural smelling. So let me go down what else I'm using, but of course, using the uh, Fougier. For the last time on video, for a little while, at least for a couple shaves, using my uh, Nathan Clark. My 1305 is uh, asking for some attention since so it's new too. Then I'm using my Lutz Slant with a Rapira stainless blade. And I'll finish off with some Dillon Fougier, my Ginger's Garden Fougier Fern. Let me go ahead and start loading. But yeah, I've been looking forward to the soap for a while. I finally broke down and got it. Um, a couple people have been suggesting it for quite some time, especially a uh, friend Jim Wolverton. And then uh, Todd Bryant was actually the one that got me uh, to finally decide to uh, get it because he was explaining how long the puck will last, um, how concentrated it is, how easy it is to lather. And you know, when somebody, when people explain that it's, yeah, it's expensive, but your bang for your buck is still there because of how long it lasts and how little you need to load. I figured, hey, I gotta give this a shot. I had the money, a little tight, but hey, I'll give it a shot. With that, let me uh, get into uh, kind of what's on my mind today, and that's uh, kind of uh, like evangelizing that kind of stuff of what we uh, what we share with people and what we try to get people into. I've uh, this past weekend and then yesterday I've been really working on some coworkers on getting into wet shaving. One guy uh, bought a set Monday through Maggards. And another, uh, yesterday I brought in all my uh, brushes, my razors, and all my soaps for one of the guys, one of the younger guys, I think 18, 19, I think he's 19, to uh, see. And he just sent me a picture today saying, look what I all bought. And it was hard to see what the picture was, but uh, I told him I'd check it out when I got to work today. But it got me thinking, I'm like, I talk to people a lot about shaving. I'm sure we all do, you know, to some people, you know, that kind of stuff. People will at least express interest. What else do we talk to people about? Now, as you guys know, I'm not afraid, at least down here, to uh, talk about my faith. But then it got me thinking, do I talk about Christ to people at work? Do I talk about Christ to those around me that may not know the word? And so it just got me thinking, you know what do we communicate to other people and what should we communicate and i'm not saying talking shaving is bad but for us uh for us christians it's uh we need to spread the word more and i think that uh we can do it through shaving um obviously you know that's the avenue i'm choosing to take uh with my journey you know I talk about shaving talk about sports talk about religion just what's on my mind but we don't need to be afraid to talk about it. Yeah, there's times where it's not appropriate. Um, somebody may tell you in the work environment you can't. I've had a boss tell me that. And so I respected what he said because he was the boss and talked about it on my off time with people. But just think about you know spreading the word. Look at that lather. 
That was super easy, came together real quick. Let me uh, do the Kilroy. Hold that longer for anybody wanting a screenshot. Fill up my uh, water bowl. And this is, uh, couldn't tell you performance yet, but the scent, uh, for those who uh, have been following me, you know, or not following, but who subscribe, but also who uh, have listened to me when I've said things on Facebook, I prefer a strong scented soap. And I wouldn't call this that. This is a, uh, like a medium, I would say, for me. But, and yeah, I think they could, they could have really amped it up, but they don't need to. A lot of soaps where I feel, you know, I say, oh, it's too weak. It really needs to be amped up in scent. But this, I'm, I'm just picking up just the right balance of the scent. It's not overpowering. Um, I think that would make it really smell artificial if they did, you know, juice it up too much. I won't talk too much about performance of it. I think that's been done a lot, but at the same time, I also don't want to talk about it yet because as I'm using more new soaps, I'm finding that I'm not lathering them perfect the first time, obviously. Um, I want to uh, dial it in better. So I guess kind of like a uh, what uh, Chris Bailey used to do. He had his initial impressions and then uh, he would kind of do a revisit. During a future video I will uh, revisit the performance of it. But I will say this. The lather came out really, really easy. Oh. It's kind of funny. Uh, I just, uh, you know, just using the first coat, uh, the scent was kind of getting milder. Yeah, you know, your nose kind of gets a little bit used to it. But then, I just got another huge, huge whiff as I started reapplying the lather. Just. Uh, I guess you know I'm a little more intense on here maybe, I don't know what it was, but I just picked it up again as I was relathering. And I like that. It was uh it's kind of remembering what I just smelt two minutes ago or so. But yeah, back to what I was saying earlier. You know, I think it's just uh it's our priorities, you know. We all uh, have different ways that we communicate to people what we want to communicate. But just remember that, you know, if that's something truly important to you, people should see it in your life. They shouldn't have to ask, are you a Christian? As uh, my, uh, one of my pastors, uh, Gabe, said, I talk about him frequently enough, um, he said, if they were to put you on trial for being a Christian, would they have enough evidence to convict you? If the answer is yes, keep pushing. If it's no, push harder. That last little bit about pushing was more my take on it. Um, but that kind of makes me think of your coworkers and those around you in your life. If they don't know you're a Christian and you claim to be one, or not that you claim, but you are, let them know. You know, make it apparent. You know, people should be able to tell. Talk about your church. Talk about what you learned or what uh, something different that happened. You know. Just uh, the other day, I was using a funeral. I had a funeral on Monday for uh, one of our uh, career airmen at my unit who uh, had passed suddenly. 
and I took the time to talk about it at work. And yeah, it was uh, not everybody was there. Nobody else in the shop really had been to the funeral, but it, I used that talking about the service and kind of spreading a little bit of the uh, message because uh, there was a little bit of a a call message to uh, try uh, to reach the hearts and minds of those that were in the audience that weren't believers. So there's all all different avenues, you know, and that's something that nobody could be offended really by because I was talking about a coworker, you know, somebody we all knew um, wasn't in our shop, but we all knew the guy. So it was just a way to bring up a topic that I believe about in a way that people can't, at least I don't think, can really get offended by. And I'm not really worried about people getting angry at me. I just, of course, am worried about, you know, somebody filing a complaint or whatnot. Out of the blades, the Rapiras, I've been using those uh, pretty consistent now for, I think I've done two of the uh, Platinum Lux, and this is now my second of the uh, Stainless. And... So far, I have to say, I'm definitely liking the uh, Platinum Lux better. Seems a little smoother. This is still a nice blade, but... If I were to rate the Russian blades I've used, I would put it... The uh, Stainless from the bottom up. The Stainless, the Voskot, and then the Repair Platinum Lux. All right, well that is my last pass. Let me just kind of feel around real quick. Get one little spot in my stash. Final uh, bit on the soap before I start cleaning up. Just, uh, like I said, the scent is amazing. Packaging, top notch. Is it worth it? It's all subjective. Um, it's all a matter of what you think. You know, if you think you can want to pay that much for a soap, you may say, "Hey, I can get four other soaps for that price or three. That's fine. That's your call. I chose to get it, and first impression of it is a very good product. Uh, I don't know if it's my best. Only time will tell. But I will say this, the, uh, it's my first Fougier soap, and I can uh, now tell what the uh, fuss is about, about the scent. I've been told this is kind of the uh, benchmark to a lot of people for uh, Fougier scents. So I guess if I'm going to start with Fougier, um, people consider it to be the benchmark. I guess it can only go down there technically, but I don't believe that. I think everything, like Bay Rums, they have their own different varieties. Love my ginger's garden. We'll say that the uh, Martin DeCondre had a great face feel as well. Seemed to slide pretty good. Like I said, the blade was a little, uh, these are a little rougher blades, I think. But, so that was it. That's, uh, that was my first impression of this soap. Like I said, to me, it's a really good quality soap. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to trying it some more to dial it in a little better. But it came together in a great lather. Still got a decent amount of my brush and I didn't load like crazy. So to me, that's huge. Uh, well, everybody, just remember, uh, have a blessed day. If I don't uh, see you guys before the weekend, have a safe, safe weekend. Um, go to church if you can. Remember, fellowship is key. And uh, just spread the word. That's my message today. Spread the word. Spread the gospel. Bring other people to God. God bless everyone.